It's just a high school. Uh, this is not just a high school. These kids are all artsy and creative and talented, and I'm just normal. It's okay. There's nothing wrong with being average. <laughs> anyway, you're not alone. I got your back. Okay. Gina, though Eric Paulson got his hair straightened. Shut up! Oh my God. <laughs> Um, can you talk? Oh my god, you're Tori, right? Uh-huh. You were so awesome in the big showcase. Oh, thanks. My name's Kat. Like the animal. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. I I love cats. Oh, me too. They're so cute. <laughs> hey. Oh, um hi. Uh, hey. Hello, female. Yes? <laughs> Can you tell me where Mr. Psychowitz's classroom is? Down the hall, swinging left at the water fountain, second door on your right. Thank you. Whatever it takes, cupcake. We can only blame Tori. Drive safe! You guys! Everybody, please wait! Don't leave! Look, I'm, I'm sorry that the prom hasn't gone so great. Yeah, you failed! But, before you all leave, I'd like to announce our prom king and queen, who you all voted for on the slap! Yes! Let's hear those winners! I'm sure I'm gonna win, right? It hurts that you doubt me. Okay, and Hollywood Arts' first ever prom queen is... Jane West! What? 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 That's right, congratulations, Jane! Trina, is that a new shirt? Don't look at my shirt. <laughs> I went to the slap.com this morning and I didn't see a review of my show yet. I know. When are you posting it? Well, the deadline is flexible, so I'm just... <laughs> Please don't. Your review better go up today and it better make my show sound awesome. Still got some work to do. <laughs> oh! My Canadian sweater! <laughs> it's not funny! Trina keeps pressuring me to write a good review of her terrible play, and I just can't lie! Her play was that bad? So bad, it was laughable! Okay, okay, then say was the funniest play you've ever seen. What are you talking about? Review it like a comedy. Comedy? Uh-huh. That's brilliant. Hey, no charge. Thanks, man. No way. Give me 10 bucks. Absolutely not. 20? Are two tens okay? Cat! Hey! You have to try something. Handcuffs? Uh-huh. Put them on one wrist. Okay. Good, and now we lock the other part around here. Fun! Okay, now try these. <gasps> oh, candy! Mmm, this is so... <gasps> so hot! What are these? Choo-choo peppers. Choo -choo. Oh, they're burning my mouth! I know! Want some water? Yes! Tell me the secret of the bird scene. I can't, and I need water! Oh, fine! Uh, wait, sorry! Water. I hit the wrong thing. No! 15 years ago, your mother gave birth to the wrong thing! All right, why don't we take a break? 
Tori Beck, you guys were great. Really nice stuff. Thanks. How was I? I've seen worse. But guys, guys, everyone shut up a second. What you got? An email from Principal Eichner that says... To all students involved in our school's production of Uptown Downtown, Sophia Michelle will be in Los Angeles the weekend of the 17th and will be personally attending your opening night performance. Oh, oh my God. Who's Sophia Michelle? Oh, no, no, no. What? She gets to be the lead and she doesn't even know who Sophia Michelle is. Wait. Is she the lady who does those infomercials with the vibrating hairbrush? I love that hairbrush. <laughs> and now we're in a closet. How can Beck not want me back? I'm so cool and hot. I've got it all. <laughs> yeah, but guys don't just care about how cool and hot you are. But what else is there? Beck said you haven't done one nice thing for him in two years. That is so not true. We've only dated a year and 11 months. Well, maybe he'd take you back if you did something nice for him. You mean, like, make him fresh lemonade? If you want Beck back, you're going to have to think bigger than beverages. A dog. OK, if you're going to be rude. No. No, Beck's always saying how he wants a dog. Uh, uh, Rottenheimer. A Rottweiler? Yes. That's what he wants. OK, what's your next move? Just get the boy a dog. Go, 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 And then at 10 p.m., President Lincoln was watching the play at Ford's Theater. Booth quietly slipped into Lincoln's box, pulled out a derringer, and shouted, I'm gonna kill you! Oh, no! Man, you better run before the girl... Ah! Rex! Trina, I'm teaching a class right now. How dare you call my one-woman show a comedy! I had to follow my conscience! Trina! Out of this classroom. I know where you live. No, you don't. We moved last year. What's your new address? 3707 Kawanga. It's a duplex. We're on top. Got it. I am so upset. How's your eggplant? It's fine. How's your spaghetti? I hate you! Why? I'm not having spaghetti, I'm having spaghettini. What's the difference? Spaghettini is a very thin noodle, spaghetti is a relatively fat noodle. We've been over this! I forgot. I mean, why did we even take a pasta class together? And done! We're done? But we still have a few more lines. No, I meant this is done. What is that? Well, it was a jar of cream, but now that I've shaken it vigorously for an hour, it's butter. <laughs> You make your own butter? Indeed. Is it good? I don't know. I refuse to eat dairy. <laughs> Tori, Beck, take your seats. If he doesn't eat dairy, why would he? I don't know. I don't get it. All right. For the last few minutes of class, let's talk about the one-act play I'm directing. Well? Well, what? You want to talk about the one-act play you're directing? All right. First of all, I want to thank you all for auditioning. The two lead roles will be played by... Andre and Robbie! Cool. Hot beef! Oh, would anyone else like to be my guardian? Did any of the rest of us get parts? Oh, is a certain little redhead hoping she got a role in teacher's play? <laughs> she is. Well, she didn't. Hey, Beck, smell my arm. <laughs> no perfume. That's my natural scent. I have to live with her. Hey, you guys. Hey, hey. how are you? <laughs> Kyle has some cool news for you. Tori Vega, Beck Oliver, Jade West, and Andre Harris. Congratulations, you're all going to be featured on The Wood. <laughs> really? Hi. <laughs> and what about me? No. Why not? Because you reek of desperation. That's her natural scent. Here you go. Thanks, Festus. I want it to Molly. Too bad. 
He got the last one. Give it to me. No, I want it. Look, I am not in a good mood, and I want it to Molly, so hand it over. No, I'm not kidding around here. Hey, stop it. Hey, stop it. Hey, stop it. But the most surprising part of the play happened at the end when the monster gouged out Priscilla's eyes, which for whatever reason I found really funny. <laughs> questions? I have two questions. Okay, no questions. Great, I'm done. Thank you, Jay, for that disturbing report. Uh, Robbie, you're up. Right. Hello, everybody. Hi. <laughs> My report is on vaudeville. Now, if you all look at me. Oh, my god. Oh, your grandmother wants to chat. Hi, Mama. Is this important? Because I'm kind of in the middle of. How do I open the internet? <laughs> Mama, Mama, you're on the internet. We couldn't be video chatting if hey, you weren't Robbie, on. The... I see your puppet. Are you still taking your puppet to school? Rex is not a puppet. Harley, Robbie still plays with his puppet. I'm in the bathroom. Doing what? Oh. <laughs> oh. I don't want to be on the internet looking like a big blob of stupid spaghetti. I thought we were sisters. Nah, I'm a dude. Not you. You formed a musical group and didn't ask me to be in it? We didn't want to be in it. Then why did you... Hey, Andre, there's a handsome man over there who wants to talk to you. He is handsome. Who is he? Guy I told you about from the record label. He's a music producer? Down, girl. I'll be back. But I don't understand. Man, it's not me. My boss was checking you out online. He saw you in that spaghetti costume singing about your favorite foods. And... That was a one-time thing. I swear, I take my music really seriously. I know that, but Michael's got this thing about image. And you know, guys who dress up as pasta and sing songs about fruits and chicken fingers. Nuggets. Nuggets. <laughs> That's not the image that he wants for the label. Sorry, kid. I might be crazy, but have I told you lately that I love you? You're the only reason that I'm not afraid to fly. And it's crazy that someone could change me. Now, no matter what it is I have to do, I'm not afraid to try. And you need to know that you're the reason why. It was unbelievable, man. No, you're unbelievable, because you always got to make a big deal out of nothing. You trashed my beach house. You said I could use your beach house. I didn't say people could puke on my carpet and make soup in my toilet. It was a beach house party. What'd you think was gonna happen? <laughs> Who put my dog in a wedding dress? It was hilarious. You know what, this friendship is over. Eat a rag. You eat two rags. You get all that? <laughs> Got it. Really good stuff, guys. Nice work, man. Well played. We'll give you more stuff later. Cool. Wow. They were great. We can do better. What you got? OK. What if Mr. Janitor got us in trouble for something, and we got so peed off about it that we uh, maybe take our anger out on his car? You can't trash the janitor's car. He got us those cute little chocolate mops for Valentine's Day. We don't trash his real car. My dad's boss owns a junkyard. We get him to drop off a piece of junk car here, and we wreck that one. And say it's the janitor's car. <gasps> wow, I wish I'd thought of that. Oh, right, I did. <laughs> Wait, that janitor didn't give me a chocolate mop for Valentine's Day. He didn't? Uh-huh. <laughs>
Well, you didn't make the team. <laughs> what? I beat everybody. I don't care. Read the school website. When a student tries out for a sports team for which there is no coach, the team captain shall decide if the student is granted or denied acceptance to the team. Captain says, denied. <laughs> but you can't, you can't just... Read the phone, Tori. Read the phone. <laughs> Don't you steal my phone in face, bit. Oh, you got tater pops. Why? Because you know what's great about movies? Uh... The musical score. Whenever stuff happens, you always hear the perfect music to go with it. See, tater pops make me happy, so? Oh, great, here comes Jade. <laughs> Can we sit somewhere else? Nope. We'll sit with the girl who can't keep her mouth shut and got you fired. Beck, I, I swear, if there was anything I could do to make it up to you, I would. I bet you would. You know, if you really wanted to help, you wouldn't just sit there like a bag of doorknobs. You'd do something. Where are you going? Anywhere else. Okay. This and that's for you. All right. It's World War II, 1944. You're in a submarine, 1,700 feet down in the Atlantic Ocean, and you're probably gonna die. Action. Oh my God, Lieutenant! Status report. We've been hit on the port side, Captain. Our engines are failing. Torpedoes? None left. Oi. How deep are we? 1,700 feet. We're gonna have to go deeper. But we'll implode! Implode? But we'll implode! Listen, I'd rather die down here than live up there captured by the enemy. I don't know if you were brave or insane. Hey, stop it. You're a soldier! I am also a woman who loves you. <laughs> that was fantastic! Uh, that's not your line. That's not my line. Actually, that was great, you guys. Really? Because if you thought I was great with him, just imagine me with a good actor. Huh. I'll do that. Okay. Bring in the next two. Robbie? Scene. Robbie, give us a letter. P. P. Oh, I was gonna say P. Okay, the scene can be about anything you want. The first letter of the first line is P. Tori, action. Please go take a shower. Quit telling me what to do. Relax, girls. Let's all try to get along. Totally! Uh, Pat, your line had to start with an S. Oh, my life's the worst! Here's a piece of candy. Yay! All right, Andre, letter S to you. Uh, something just bit my toe. A turtle! That turtle just bit his toe. Unbelievable that you're even here. Very immature of you to say that. Uh... Come on, Andre, W! What if the turtle bite broke my toe bone? <laughs> X-rays are the only way to find out. You should shut up. Zap! I just healed your toe with my magic finger. Thanks. Uh, Andre, your line had to start with an A. Sit down. Aw, I just got my toe bone fixed. Tori, letter A, to you. Aliens are the only people who can heal toes by finger zapping. Uh, by the way. <laughs> Correct. I am an alien. <gasps> oh, a twist. Don't hurt me, please. Even though she's extremely annoying. Fainting, because I can't breathe your Earth's air. Gosh, it fainted. Excellent. Tori and Jane, keep going. The next letter's H. Hey, why don't you go jump off that cliff over there? I think you should. Just where did you come from? Kangaroos. Lousy animals, kangaroos. They're awkward and dirty. Maybe they learn from you. 
No one talks to me like that. Obviously, someone should. Please run in front of a bus. <laughs> Quite obnoxious of you to say. Really? Sure was. Thanks. Up oh, your nose, I see boogers. Very clever. Wish you thought of it. X marks a spot I'd like to punch. Your finger smells weird. Uh, zero is what you are on a scale from one to ten. And back to the letter A. As if I care what you think. You better watch yourself. Can't take it? Don't push me. Eat your pants. You eat your pants. Wait. Uh, sorry, Jade. The next letter was... Yeah, I know. Keep the scene going. Letter G. Get up, alien. Head feels dizzy. I know it'll make you feel better. Jumping jacks? Kiss me. Let's do it.